Okay, Lydia, um, Lydia, I'm not sure how to pronounce that now that I think about it. Lydia, forgive me if I have it wrong. This is your sheet three, and I'm just going to rename that model, so I'll help remember it. And sheet one, I'm pretty sure is um, B or, whoops. Labelly so I can remember. Grand A. And sheet two. Or A and D. B. Okay. So here is brand A. And this is the intercept. I think I... Erase that by accident. This is the results of your regression when you, and it looks like you regressed it properly. You've got an intercept of 250, price of brand A coefficient of minus 0.56, and a price of brand B coefficient of plus 0.34. And I think those are right, uh, just from memory. What I'm going to do, I am going to copy those, control C, go over here to your model. And I'm just going to pick a place down at the bottom, control V, and I'm going to label that B or A N D A. That's brand A data. Let's go over here to brand B. And I'm going to copy that same information model. And I'm going to go right there. And this is B or A N B. So now I've got the information I need to construct the um, the model up here. What we need to do in this cell that you've got 257 right now, just a raw number, we need to construct an equation that tells us how many units of sales we we have based on the price of A and the price of B. And I'm going to do that just equal and this is model A so brand A the intercept plus this coefficient times the price of A plus that coefficient times price of B and you see now that we've got that equation in there B27, which is that intercept, plus B28 times B8. B8 is the price of A. And you can think about that. As the price of A goes up, the sales of A go down. As the price of B goes up, the sales of A increases. So now let's do the other equation. Equal that intercept plus that coefficient times price of brand A plus that coefficient times it is driving me nuts here. You put this on pause because get, get it to okay let me do that again. I'm going to click in that cell equal the intercept plus coefficient times price of A plus coefficient times price of B. So now we've got an equation for both of these. The equation for the sales of B, model B, says that it's 320 plus the B sales go up as the price of A goes up and then the price uh, as the price of B goes up, the sales of B go down. So those are your equations. Now we just need to connect these things. The revenue equal price times unit sold. And once we get that, remember we can just copy that down. And you already have that sum, so that's correct. The cost, 
So you've got entered in there hard coded and really that needs to be an equation again equal the unit sold times the cost and the same thing's true here equal unit sold times the cost and that should be summed down that's okay now we need this to be also an equation again and profit is nothing more than equal revenue minus cost and that one we can copy down and you've got that summed up correct okay so now we've got this 15,930 is our total profit based on this model. If the uh, price of A is 200, then we get 5930. If I change that to 250, you can see that everything updates. And the, the key thing that, that I did that you didn't have when I first got here, this cell just had a hard number and all I did was to link it equal that total profit okay that is the basis of um, the model that you'll use throughout the rest of this um, uh, problem and the next thing you want to do is use the data table okay now we're ready for the data table the tricky thing about the data table is remembering what is the row cell and the column cell. What I like to do is to take those cells, go to home here, and I'm going to say that is my row cell and then my column cell. So I remember I'm going to make that yellow and that those cells. So that helps me remember what are my row cells. I mean, my row cell is cell B8, and my column cell is B9. So to do the data table, we select that key corner cell and then highlight everything that we want from 200 to 600 vertically and 200 to 600 um, horizontally. Then we go to data, what if, data table. And here is why you need to, uh, well, I color code those things. My row input cell is the green cell. I'm just going to click on that. Now I click here in the column input cell, get that blinking cursor, then I click there. And that is the data I need and I just click that. I'm going to go ahead and format that a bit, make this dollars, and um, there you go. There is your data table. So I hope this helps. I, I just want to mention one thing. I'm going to email this spreadsheet back to you so you can reverse engineer it. And remember, you can just click on a cell uh, to look at the formula and uh, follow that all the way through. If you double click on a cell, you can see not only the formula that's written there, but also the cells that it's depended on. The other thing you can do is to go to, I think it is formulas, and I want to trace dependence. I'm going to go there. Let's see if it'll... Yeah. See there, I just clicked on it, and it shows that I connected this cell to that cell. This cell is a dependent of that cell. If I go here, trace dependence, it doesn't have a formula to show that, but let's, let's go here. I'm going to go to that one, trace dependence, and that's a good one because you can see that the sales of A and B are both dependent upon the price of A. And if I click on the price of B, same thing is true, that the sales of A and the sales of B 
are dependent upon those prices and they affect the revenues which go down straight. So I'm going to just remind you that you can, can see that.